I don't understand why you have to formally invite your parents. You know they're coming. The invite's here. I love that she went with Antique Sage. Is that the more expensive one? Our one and only daughter is getting married. Do not talk to me about money right now. I still think they should have just eloped. Marshall, you think I should give him a plus one? He's your man of honor. If he's single, he'll come stag. Otherwise, he'll bring someone. But what if he brings Marie? Welcome to Tampa. Lizard! You're getting married! Can you believe it? Surprise! Hi, Eric. Hi, how are you today? How do you feel? I'm 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 good. I'm good. And you? Excellent. I have yeah. a movie coming out. I'm so excited. I know, I know. And thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you giving the time to talk to you and to talk about the plus one. <laughs> which is very, very exciting. I had so much fun watching. So, <laughs> and then I was like, oh my God. Always, sometimes the plus one is an issue in, in our life, like, right? When, you, when you're when dating, you're still figuring out. Sometimes it's very <laughs> tricky. <laughs> so it's how, funny. Yes. How did you get involved in this project? How was like, what was about the script that got your attention? Well, uh, Demetrius Spencer, who is the executive producer, he called me one day and he said, hey, I got this script. I always wanted to do a uh, romantic comedy. And uh, he found this for me and said Ashanti was attached as the producer. So I had to read it and check it out. And I just love the story. I love the fact that it was an ensemble cast and it was a romantic comedy and as something everyone can relate to because everyone has that party or that one person that you just don't want them around too long. So I think this movie just captures that that type of like plus one that you don't really want to be a plus one in a situation. Yeah, but I was so mad with Jonathan's character because I was like, why are you invite why? someone that is why? sex? Yeah. No, <laughs> you cannot take and, her. <laughs> and people do that all the time. He thought he was in love and he just brought that person that nobody wanted to see. Like we've all had that. But um, Jonathan was amazing. It's it's funny because Jonathan and Cassandra, who played Cassie, they knew each other already. So they already had a chemistry between them. So it was fun to watch them work and come up with funny things to do. Oh, that's good. That's great. That's great. Oh my God. That's so good. And 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 also like filming in Florida because it was clear water at close to Tampa, out that 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 part of Florida. How was that? How was like for you, like the, the weather? <laughs> it was humid. Well, <laughs> I was well, 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 that was the other reason why I took the job, because there's like, wait a minute, we're going to be shooting at a resort in Clearwater, Florida, the Sand Pearl, which was amazing. We shot there. I wound up staying there for a while. So they took care of us at the hotel. So to wake up every day and just go downstairs to the lobby and shoot a movie, it was just amazing. They took care of us so well. But some of the days shooting on the beach were a little bit were a little bit crazy as far as heat. But it was so much fun to shoot at a resort. Yeah, that that would be very that maybe it's easier. Like I think it's easier when when you have just one kind of a one location. You know, it's mm -hmm. you have other locations on the on the movie, but I think it, it's is is a is a little easier. But but what was the, your biggest challenge there? Um it was open. The hotel was, was open. So we had to shoot around as guests. So when we shot the lobby scene, the hotel was still doing its thing. So we had to take breaks, let people check in and then shoot. And when we had to shoot outside on the beach, we had to make sure we didn't see, you know, or intrude some people that were there on vacation. So it was basically like a dance. Okay, we have this location from three o'clock to three thirty. Okay, let's shoot, 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 shoot. We have this location for a half an hour. Okay, we shoot, shoot, shoot. But everyone was so good about it. That was amazing. But that was really tough. Yes, and then bringing Ashanti and Sandrick, the entertainer. Oh my God, they are so, they are so good. And and Ashanti, she's so beautiful. So how was like work with them and then bring them to to play the uh, the, the main characters pretty much, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing because Ashanti is, is a mega superstar. She's done stadiums, arenas. She's been on the biggest stage, but she's really into acting. So it was just cool to see her so down to earth and focused on a role to see her like this big superstar really getting into character. And uh, Cedric, of course, he just 
you know, he comes in, he jokes around, he laughs, but as soon as the camera's running, he plays the dad. Like he just, he's so good and such a professional. He has jokes for days. If you want another one, he'll give you another one this take, another one that take. They're just, they were professionals, superstars, but really down to earth. Yes, yes. And you, you, you start your career here. You made your name uh, uh, directing uh, video clips, right? Music videos and which it's, they are amazing. How was it for you like to bring that experience to create like a feature, a feature film? I think that the, the best thing about it is um, when shooting a film, I'm so used to working with big artists like Diddy or Christina Aguilera or, or Chris Brown, big sets, huge crews. So shooting a movie, it didn't feel foreign to me. Being on set with all these people, you know, we had our cast was 12, 13 people. We'd have some scenes with 12 actors. It didn't feel overwhelming because I was so used to dealing with big personalities shooting music videos. So that was that was the fun part of me. I could enjoy it and not be so stressed about it. I really embraced the moment. Yeah, and time-wise, uh, I think the, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how long do you take to 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 feel, to do a music uh, music video because the, sometimes movies is there is so quick like we have three weeks you have a month and sometimes two <laughs> weeks <laughs> i don't know time wise how was, how did you manage that well it's interesting all right some of my my bigger music videos were like three day shoots this movie was 13 days to shoot the whole movie so it was really um a crunch like that was the one thing that was good about having professional actors um We had to shoot scenes so fast, you know, we didn't have any time. So that was the, the it was, it was a tight schedule. I'm not going to lie, but I'm so happy that I had these professional actors just giving it all. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. And, and what did you learn about yourself? Like doing this movie, if you learned something, <laughs> I, I learned, learned something. Just be careful what you take to go <laughs> <many. laughs> I learned patience working with such a huge crew. And I learned in the story that, um, you know, it's funny that the, the plus one that, that, that nobody likes, I felt for that person. And I think in the story, even though, you know, some people I realize are a little bit crazy or a little bit off, but you know, they have feelings too. And you start to see that side of that person. And that's what I learned in the story that, you know, everyone just wants to be loved basically. Yeah. Are you already planning your next movie? I have a I have a movie coming out October 12th uh, called Wake on okay. BET. Yeah, so I wound up shooting. So I have two movies coming out, you know, back to back. I have a thriller called Wake coming out on BET, the, the killer next door type movie. So that's a big difference going from the plus one romantic comedy fun to like a, you know, a slasher thriller type movie. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit what we can expect of the uh, of Wake? Oh yeah, Wake comes out on BET October 12th. It's about a MIT teacher who has narcolepsy. So she teaches from home and a big rapper comes and moves next door and he has his own problems and situations. He's a little crazy. So she, because she has narcolepsy, she's not sure if she sees some of the things next door that she sees with this rapper. And he's really a killer. And it's, it's this type of thing where nobody believes her, but you know, She has to try to uh, catch the killer. Oh, that's amazing. That's good. <laughs> oh my God. I was doing a rom-com comedy and then now a thriller. I love that. <laughs> that's amazing. I know. That's amazing. That's funny. And, and, and Eric, if you have to give an advice to someone who want to pursue a career in this industry, can be directing music videos, can be directing uh, uh, movies, can be actors, do anything. What advice would you give to that person? I would say no matter what, believe in yourself because you're going to get people telling you, no, you can't do something, but you have to ignore them and listen to the voice inside you. That's one. You have to stay true with who you are. And if you believe in that, do it. The second advice would be is use your phone. Phones now today, everyone has a movie studio on their phone. You can take pictures, take videos, go on iMovie, make your own movies, start getting into the process and having fun with it. Make your own movies and just see where it takes you. Amazing. Eric, I just want to thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to meet you. A lot of success. And I hope everybody 
had fun like I did watching the plus one. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. <laughs> Bye. Bye -bye. Thanks. This place is perfect. No, I, I'm too dignified of a man to be on the beach. I specifically wrote plus one, anyone but Marie James. I mean, I just don't understand how someone else can book the bridal suite during someone else's wedding. It's me, I'm the bride. Does it we can trade back. No, Marshmallow he said we can have the better room. Are you? That woman is a disaster. I have to do special brownies for my sister. Just bake as much pot in the batter as possible. Pot. The most important day of our lives, and you were asked to bring anyone, anyone except Marie. <laughs> God. I can't believe you just stole a trolley. What are you doing with my wedding dress God, on? Get this party started. You better get up while I do. What did you put in those brownies? Baby, somebody need an EpiPen? Ow! We should really respect nature. No, wait, no, 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 to the bride and groom. Raise your glasses to the bride and groom. Y'all should elope. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.